You want to cut the toenails first? Yes. First oh, what? Before? Before you put them. I'm just kidding you. Yeah, we'll just, we'll kind of do it all together. Um, now, since I saw you last, you said that you were in the hospital and then rehab? And they yes. said you had cellulitis in your legs? Yes. Okay. But the person in the rehab didn't think that was... I did not think it was sure you later. So what happened? It was like all of a sudden? Uh, yeah, I had, had it and it went away and then it came back again. Just your legs got really red and warm? Or what? Yeah, they're kind of red. And uh, that's like, my legs are like two different colors. It's white and red. Okay. And it just blossomed from there. Were you running a fever? No. Okay. And you didn't feel sick at all? No, I felt good, it did, but I usually do when I have this. Okay, so you've been having, ha, have you been having the physical therapy guy come out and do the wraps? Uh, yes, I was. Okay, and how is that working? Worked fine, but now they come from Ad Adera. I believe they come out every other day and wrap it. Okay, not as good as every day. Well, they were doing it every day at first, now it's down to every other day. Because they don't look super swollen today. Hmm? They don't look really swollen today. No, no, the feet aren't. My, I, well, the legs aren't really either, but there's still some there. We're still trying to heal it up. So, you said you had so, a lot of sores on the skin? Yeah, much, it just kind of like I've had before, just... But not on your feet. You've never had any. No, I've never feet. had any. See, on, on the, the right heel there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I'm still wearing slippers. I can't put my shoes back on yet. Okay. Did they do a wound vac on you, or a what? A wound vac for the for the to get the wounds to heal. Or they just kind of healed on their own? They put, um, they always, I believe it's just a wound care thing. Mm -hmm. And then they put, oh, I don't know the name of it, I should have written it down. It's not aquaphor, but it's something like that. Okay. And that seemed to do the work. That, that is what they've been putting on. And yeah. There's so many good wound care dressings out there these days. Yeah. If we could just get Medicare to pay for any of them. Yeah, so far I haven't had any problems, but this is almost like Vaseline when you put it on. It's that kind of a... Okay. Seems to work. So hopefully it'll go away again. Then. Now when did you get out of the rehab? I came back uh, on the 9th to my apartment. I, so five days ago. Yeah. Okay. I went in on the 19th and I was in the hospital about four days before that. And were they treating you for infection? For the cellulitis? No, just for, yeah, for the cellulitis. But that's infection, so. But the one thing I've been told never to put on my foot, foot again is the Unavut. Why? That got you healed last time. I know, but it. I don't know. They said don't ever put that on again. So. Who said that? The doctors at the hospital and over there. That's weird. Yeah. Because there's nothing that could cause any complications in that. I don't know if they thought that it irritated it. That I don't know. No, yeah, because last time that happened, that was how we got you healed, was yeah. using that. Everybody's got their own way of... Yeah, I you know, I mean, there's more than one right way to do things, but I don't know why they would say don't ever do that particular treatment. I, I don't, don't know. If there's anything in it that could be harmful. Huh. They really needed cutting, didn't they? They sure did. It's been three months. Well, it's been two and a half months, I think. 
Squeaky clippers back. Hmm? We got our squeaky clippers back. Oh. I think it happens just from going through the sterilizer so many times every day. Now you do have a wound here, an open sore on the toe. Did they are they not treating that? I didn't know there was one there. Yes on the tip of this toe. Well, they put this, when they put this on my legs, they also put it all over the bottom of my feet. Right, but there's an open sore on the tip of this toe, so... Oh, I'll have to, I'll have to tell them that. Are you still seeing... Uh, well, you're not still doing wound care through the hospital. They're just doing the... the wraps for the lymphedema every day? Or every other? When you said you have to tell them, who, who did you mean? Oh, they, they come out and wrap my legs and everything. She called a day and they're supposed to call a day ahead. And she called and she said, I'll be, can you come? I come at 1.30? I said, no. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to need to do then for this wound is we're going to need to get them some new orders for treating this wound right here. Okay. And the fact that that toe is pretty enlarged makes me wonder if the bone isn't involved under there. So I'd like to get a couple x-rays today. Just okay. make sure that the bone's not infected underneath that. Is that okay? Oh, that's all I need. Well, and that's why we got to rule it out. So... So do you at least go someplace nice when they put you into the rehab? What? Did you go at least someplace nice when they put you into the rehab? <laughs> yeah, I went to St. Therese. Oh. All we had to... They had to what? So that, that was, that was kind of convenient. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard good things about that one. I like it though. There's a lot of, you know, I guess the one in Oxford is a lot nicer. But this one is 50 years old, but it, it's a nice place. Yeah, and I've heard that the staff there is really good and really nice. They are. Yeah, I get all the good news. Uh, I get all the, I suppose. you know, the gossip about stuff like that from people. You know, where's the place you wouldn't send a dog? And, uh...
I'm gonna come back to that one. I has like an odor to it. I want to make sure that there's no wound underneath this. Yeah. Sorry, sweetie. Hang on. Mm -hmm. you know, this one just smelled like there was a wound under it. Sometimes you can smell those things. So you, you said you had a wound down under here? They said the skin can be pulled off it won't, or cut. It won't hurt anything. Yeah. That's not the one I'm worried about, though. I'm worried about what's going on up there. Has nobody looked at that? Well, the last time they were in was Saturday. Okay, but do they look at your toes, or they just pretty much concentrate on putting on your wrapping the foot? I guess they don't really look at the toe. Okay, putting the legs. Okay, so what do we Feel it, so that's good. Um, I can feel it all right. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything going all the way down to bone or anything, but oh, it does good. go in a little far right up in here. So we're still going to get that x ray. Um, and I've never had this on the bottom of my feet before. Though. Yeah, that's crazy that you had wounds on the bottoms of your heels and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. It's different every time. Yeah. Well, it'd be kind of boring if it were the same, right? Okay. Now, can you get down to your feet to help clean them when you take a bath? Hey, what? Can you get down to your feet to clean them when you take a bath? Because there's a lot of debris. Yeah. I, I'm supposed to call when I get back and then they'll come in and wrap them. Okay. No, but I'm talking about down here in your feet. There's a lot of dirt in between the toes here, so my question was, is anybody helping you 
Do you? Well, I, I usually use a Q-tip to do that. Is that all right to do that? Yeah. Okay. You just left me a lot of presents here today. There's always skin and stuff between there, yeah. I always wonder where it's coming from. Yeah. All right. So I'm rotting, maybe? Rotting? No. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. So first thing is, I'm just going to get this to stop bleeding for a second, and then I'm going to I'm going to put a little antibiotic on here, okay. and then I need um, I need the phone number for the company that's coming out every other day because I'm going to have them putting a wound dressing on this. Um, well, I don't I don't have the phone number, but it's I can tell you how it's spelled. <laughs> okay, when we're off camera. Okay. Um, and then. Yeah, and then I'm going to give them an order, and then I want to see this weekly for the next few weeks until this closes. Okay. Um, for the x-ray, I'm just going to put a little band-aid on, and I can wrap it a little better when you're done with the x-ray. Okay. All right, so we'll do the x-ray, then we'll get everything lotioned up. And um, then I'll have you set up a few weekly appointments for this toe. Um, but if it looks like the bone is involved, we'll also have to put you on an oral antibiotic if you're not still on one. So there, there we got to be careful because I'm allergic to it. Okay, them. that's fine. Well, let's start. Let's just do it um, one step at a time. Let's get the x-ray. Okay? All Thank right. you. So we got the x-rays on her, and because her toes were so curled around, we couldn't see what we needed to, so we got the MRI. Where you see this red line pointing, it's not the greatest picture, but you can see that that bone in there is lit up like a bright light, and that indicates that there's fluid inside that bone, where the bone on this view should be somewhat dark in color. So that tells us that there's infection actually inside the bone, um, or it's like pus inside the bone. Breakfast, it was better. Okay. So we've got you on the, the antibiotics, and then we're going to get you in once a week um, to trim this. Let's hope it heals fast. Yeah, um, but the issue is... Hang on. You just got your, everything, don't you? <laughs> um, the issue is that it's not going to heal as long as the bone underneath it is is infected. So we're going to manage it by trimming it once a week okay. and getting all this callus off the top. She told me you'd probably do that to make it Yeah, we're going to do it once a week. These legs are so funny now. The right leg looked pretty good yesterday. Mm -hmm. And the left leg is all gets sores again. And then, then it goes backwards and forwards. I guess I can be glad it just sticks to my legs and my feet. Could be worse. Yeah, you know, it can always be worse, right? Yeah. But it doesn't mean that you can. First time I had this was my husband was still alive. And he's been gone tw 12 years. Maybe it'll quit pretty soon. First time you had the wound here or the legs? The, the sores. On your legs? Yeah. I've been to so many doctors and none of them know what to do with it. Well, it's it's a problem. Lymphedema is a problem that you manage. You're never going to cure it. No, I know that. You're never going to fix it. it. Yeah. Okay. This already looks better, except I know that down in there I can still feel bones. So, what we're going to do is, yeah, I can use your cream and I was hoping that may maybe the um, antibiotic would help my legs too. Well, it, give it time. It will. Yeah. 
um, any cellulitis that you have in your legs will get better. Um, right, so which side would you like? I'll use mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. So regular Band-Aid is fine when they come and change your right. dressings on your legs. They can also change this. I think maybe this bigger one. She said she yeah. was going to bring those little, little round ones. I don't think that'll help. No, because that won't stay. And then the other thing is if it doesn't stay when it's like this, then the other thing that you can do is you could take a little bit of, this is paper tape, um, and just wrap it oh, okay. kind of around. You need to be careful, though, when you do it like this, when you go around a toe, mm -hmm. that it's never too tight. Because okay. if it gets too tight, it'll cut off the circulation. Okay? We don't need that. Right. So we'll see you back next week for this. And um, we'll just keep having the nurse who wraps your legs. She'll change that when she comes out. Okay? She'll be here tomorrow or be here tomorrow. Okay, okay. great. Okay. Okay. And oh. everybody has pictures of their toes. Not everybody does, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and do you still want me to come back next week? Um, yeah, I, in looking at it a little bit more closely, I do not think that it's closed completely. It's not what? It's not closed completely. So let me just trim the callus off the top and we'll see what it looks like underneath. And um, if it's still open, then yeah, we'll need you to come back again next week. Yeah, I have an appointment. So. Okay. Just relax your foot because, yeah, if you start moving it, it won't be in the frame. I can't either. relax my foot when people pick at it. When somebody's got a sharp knife to it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought, what am I going to do La last Saturday? We had that celebration of life for my son-in-law, but I got my shoe on. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, good. I'm glad you were able to get the shoe on for a time. And it looks like you're wearing your shoe today. Yeah, I've been keeping a slipper on it. It's just a little more comfortable that way. Um, all right. so the wound is actually still open. I just want to see how deep it goes in here. All right. So I'm not feeling any bone in there at the base. So that's good. I've taken so many pills. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep on with um, the three times a week nursing dressing change. So when they come to change your leg wraps? Uh, that they come tomorrow. Okay. So when they come to change your leg wraps a few times a week, they'll keep changing this just like they've been doing. Because it's definitely not worse. We're just not, it's not completely healed yet. Okay? It's getting close. She was putting the little, little round spots on. Well, that's all you need. Yeah, but they come loose all the time. So uh -huh. I said to her, I got some of these the little thin ones like I had on there. And I said, Put those on now. They don't fall off. Okay. So, yeah, it's going to bleed a little bit. It's going to ooze for the next hour or so. So I'm going to put kind of a little bulkier dressing on it so you don't bleed through onto your shoe. Okay. And if it isn't the leg, it's the foot. <laughs> this leg, or which leg is it? This leg's only got two little spots left. Wonderful. This one has got more on there, but it's it's coming. I imagine the antibiotic is helping that too. Yeah. You know, and it's going to be your, pardon the pun, your Achilles heel, always, is going to be the swelling that causes the sores. Oh, yeah. So. All right, so I'll just put some tape on that. We'll see you back next week. Is, is there a Band-Aid on that too? 
Um, no, just this. So, okay. What was your question? I didn't have one. Oh, I thought you you had a question about about your toe. It's looking much better. Doesn't hurt as much either. Good until I trim the callus off, right? When I do this, I make it hurt. I'm trying to bite my tongue. <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, that hurt the last one, but otherwise it didn't. Don't even worry. Okay, so when I take all the callus off from over the top of this, the what? When I take all the callus off from uh -huh. over the top of this, you can see uh, there's still a little opening in the middle. Okay. It's definitely better than it was. Yeah. Well, I imagine it's going to take a while, isn't it? Right, especially because you have the bone underneath that is infected. And so we keep you on those antibiotics for six to eight weeks until... Yeah, I'm still on the first bottle. Good, okay. When I got ready to come this morning, I thought, did you take that, those pills or not? Yeah. I know, and they can kind of wreak havoc with your system, too. All right, so this is pretty darn small on the surface now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know that it does go, it does still go deep, but... Well, it, it hurts a little, but not like it did. Good. Between the knee and this leg and the toe, I can always tell you when there's going to be a weather change. <laughs> so um, we'll continue having, when the nurse wraps your legs for the lymphedema, we'll have them continue to change the bandage on this. Okay. Yeah, she comes on um, Friday. Okay. So um, we're just going to keep going with the trimming. And what we'll do is about six weeks, we'll redo the MRI. Okay. So if if the MRI shows at that point that there's no... Now that hurts. Oh, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm moving the toe to try and get the Band-Aid on. Um, but if the MRI at that point shows that there's no more infection in the bone, then we can stop the antibiotics, okay? Okay. Um, okay, I have a question. Yes. On the big toe. Yes. Is there... It hurt a little bit as... Do we have... I have an ingrown toenail starting there, like I normally do. I can pull that bandage down a little bit. I said if you're going to order those again, where you get the same color instead of oh, instead of green, pink, one thing. That's very preppy, though. Yeah, <laughs> it's different. She was just shocked. She's. I didn't know. I. I checked that thing. So that you checked the fluorescent green and <laughs> yeah, fluorescent orange blue, or pink box. Okay. She said, "Well, what colors would you like that on?" I said, "Well, how about pink and green?" Well, you could do green and red. It's almost Christmas, but I don't have red. <laughs> I should tell her to get red <laughs> if it comes that way. I got black. Who wants to wrap it with black? All right. So this um, this toe is hurting over here or over here. I'm kind of on the that side. This yeah. side. I don't know if it is or if it's just. Was there anything there? Um, well, there's some nail on the side and a lot of dry calloused skin that can hurt and make it feel like there's an ingrown nail. I have to wait a whole hour for them to pick me up again. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Well, at least we have, at least our magazines are up to date. You know, the hand handicap thing that you're pushed to, to come in outside? Not working? Don't work. It. We will let the landlord know. Luckily, there was somebody there to... <laughs> She's a wait, I'll open it, don't try it. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah. I will definitely will pass that along to the landlord today. Now that's smart. Yeah, this is right where there was a little bit of... It's not... The skin is not broken. 
You've just got a little bit of nail like denting pushing into the skin. Okay. And that will be very painful. So. Well, I figure they aren't ready to take cutting them. Does that feel okay there? Yeah, that's better. better. Okay. I side. got a letter in the mail that said, we're discontinuing your insurance uh, your as of October 1st. I thought, what on earth? Why well, I went to every piece of paper I had in that apartment. Discontinuing your health insurance? My health insurance as of October 1st. And I called her and I said, uh, I never got a bill. I said, I went through everything last night. Oh, they said because you didn't So pay they her. reinstated me and they're going to send me a bill. Ah, uh, okay. And I thought, oh my gosh, as of October 1st, I thought, where have I been since October 1st? And, oh, oh. I won't ask because the camera's going who you have. Oh, and we've had them, oh my land, 40 years. Yeah, and that counts for nothing, right? But they are good. I very seldom. The only thing I've ever paid for is an ambulance or so. When they, when they gave me a ride home from the hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that feels okay now. That's better. Okay. All right. So now we have something scheduled next week for the sore. Yeah. What? We have something scheduled next week for the yeah the uh, for about till December third. Great. It's been okay. a few weeks since I've seen you because you had to cancel an appointment. So, but this is looking really good, and the nurses are not, they're not doing anything for it now, right? No. Okay. So let's get this callus off the top and make sure that this is actually healed underneath. Do you want me to still, still keep taking the antibiotic? Um, well, that's because, yes, you, you, you had the infection in the bone. Okay. And so... Because I've got a good two weeks left. Yep, I want you to finish it. Then, then what? Then we wait. If it starts to get red again, we'll we'll take another MRI. Otherwise, we just know that that our um, that our eight weeks is enough. Okay. I, we could do another MRI, but if everything looks better and it doesn't get worse again, then we should be okay. Now, I know when I went in for that, I said you're going to strip my whole body in there, and she said, no, just your foot. Right. Right, exactly. Well, this looks really good. This is now, it's closed, um, but we can't let this callus get too thick or it'll open right up again. Okay. Okay. So, wait, where am I? Right there. Um, so we can stop, well, you've already stopped treating this, mm -hmm. putting anything on it. I will put a little Band-Aid on it today, but um, you don't need the nurses to do it anymore. And, um, yay. So. We finally got this to heal. Now we'll get all the wounds on your legs to heal. And uh, you'll be in business. All right. Well, thanks for letting us go on this journey with this wound with you. All right.